What the hell kind of supernatural shit does this one do? A bit irritable today, are we, D9085? Well, if you let me sleep a little bit more after my surgery, maybe I'd be a little bit more bright and bushy tail right about now. SCP-212 did a decent job, we'll give it that. But not having any anesthesia and painkillers hasn't made recovering any easier. Oh, my apologies, D9085. We wouldn't want to make things inconvenient for you. How about we take you back to your cell to get some rest? I can schedule you for something more convenient later in the week. Maybe another test with SCP-1602. Or I'm sure we could use some more data on SCP-330 if you don't like the pain with your new hands. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. Okay, point made. Understood. Let's just get on with this. Another one down, another step closer to freedom. Get on with it. You should feel privileged to be a part of this testing protocol. Usually only personnel with level 2 clearance are allowed access to SCP-216, but we're giving you special access for this testing round. How about that? D-class talk in the cafeteria, you know. Special privilege, my ass. I don't know the specifics about this one, but I do know about a year ago, one of your docs and two of us D-class bit the dust during testing. A Wolverine attack? Do I have that right? Do you want to risk someone important with your little test, did you? You shouldn't believe every rumor you hear, D9085. It's unwise to get caught up in D-class gossip. But look at me being generous with the free advice. Let's cut the small talk and get down to business. Each numerical combination for the high iron safe placed in front of you opens to a unique interior space within SCP-216. As you would expect from the number set on the seven dials before you, that means there are about... 10 million different compartments to investigate. Precisely. And as you would also expect, even working at a relatively brisk pace to investigate and record the findings from each individual compartment will take us approximately... 150 to 300 years to observe all possible combinations. You will be aiding us in our testing of SCP-216 for the next several weeks, exploring new compartments in numerical order as instructed, and verbally describing all that you may come across. We will observe you through the security camera for visual verification and record the findings throughout testing. Understood? Oh boy, I can't wait. What happens if I find something hostile in one of these compartments? What safety nets do you have for me in case of, I don't know, another Wolverine attack? If such an event were to transpire, not that it ever has, we have an armed detail on standby outside of the room to take care of such matters. Oh yeah, like with 1602, right? Why aren't they in here with me? Wouldn't that give them a faster reaction time? No sense in wasting their lives too in the event of a room clearing anomaly. That would simply be irresponsible. Right. Irresponsible. All right, D9085, approach SCP-216. Proceeding from left to right, then top to bottom, we will begin with combination 6458879. This one's empty, Doc. Most of them have been to date. Shut the door and proceed to combination 6458879. Oh boy, I'm in for an exciting few weeks. 6458901. Empty. 6458987. Empty. 6459036. Empty. 6459148. Empty. 6459922. Sawdust? No reason to be concerned. Not the first time we've seen this. Carry on. Oh. 6461243. Place the flashlight and make a note. Nothing else to see here. 
3781. Drop it, frat boy. Take a rip, and I'll transfer your junkie ass to Area 354. 665 Don't even think about it 647 4272 Reminds me of one Dr. Asif used to have before the incident with 049 that Why? It is hypothesized that SCP-216 has three other sister compartments of a similar nature, meaning that they may share access to the same compartments. Therefore, to avoid unforeseen disturbances, we replace the items found once they are locked. Besides, you have no use for money here. What are you even going to buy? A ticket out and a soda pop? Yeah, keep dreaming, Squirt. Put it back. 647-9. Zero, zero, zero. Try using the party horn. <laughs> ah, yeah, very amusing. Replace the horn. Six, four, seven, nine, zero, eight, five. Looks like an envelope. I think it's a note. Stand by for retrieval from level two personnel for examination. There's not much here, Doc. It just says, knowledge is power. To have one's knowledge race is to become one of the meek. It's become worthless, a hollow shell. Do you wish to remain a number forever? Then remember. 9085, time to prove your worth, my son. I said stand by, D9085. Wait, Amos? 9085? Is this not to me? What kind of test is this? Who is Amos? Guards, return D9085 to his cell. Retrieve the note for examination. What the hell's going on here? Hey, I'm talking to you! What the hell's going on? So, it would appear one of SCP-216's counterparts is in their hands now. Forget the counterpart. How the hell would he have known we've had D9085 on SCP-216 testing? Is security just a big joke to this site? Why wasn't this shit on lock? The apparent breach is disturbing. That much we can agree upon. But the more disturbing news appears to be not only that Amos still has his interest in 9085 despite our tampering, but he has now found a more or less direct line of contact 
or dare I say, even an assault route into these walls. And what the hell should we do about it? I'll report this turn of events to the O5 Council, but I feel confident in speculating that immediate suspension of testing with SCP-216 for the foreseeable future is the most prudent course of action, aside from the obvious that we'll need to keep a closer eye on D-9085. Oh, I'll be keeping a closer eye on him. You can be sure of that. You can be damn sure of that.